Do you want your crosshair placement to go from looking like this to looking like this? If you answered yes to that question, then this video will help you guys out tremendously. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this before, but one of, if not the best way to work on your crosshair placement is by going into a slow motion 1v1. The reason for this is you have more time to be more precise on your edits versus if you were just in a normal 1v1. I recommend this map, which a lot of you have probably played before. This has helped me so much with my crosshair placement, it's insane, so I highly recommend this. I like playing on 0.50, but if you want to go even slower, you can go all the way down to 0.10, which I honestly think this is a little too slow, but hey, let's try 0.25. I can feel it a little faster, just still very, very, very slow. And you don't have to play slow motion. You can switch it back to normal anytime you want. See? Or if you don't want to go too slow, you can just put it on 0.75. As you can see, it's slowed down, but it's still pretty fast. Let's move on to the next tip, which I think can help you just as much. Next is this aim edit piece control map, which has helped me so much over like the past year. Here's the map code down at the bottom right here. So you guys can go into the map after this video ends. So let me hop in and show you guys around it. Once you load into the map, there's a list of stuff you can do, but we're going to start in the edit. This section has any sort of edit that you can possibly think of, and you can practice every single one. For example, these double edits with cones and walls. With crosshair placement, it's all about aligning. Aligning your crosshair against whatever you're editing or whoever you're shooting at. My favorite that's helped me the most with my crosshair is probably this one. It is called wall edit cone reset. Basically the objective is you reset the cone and then edit through the wall. This helps me a lot because after I reset the cone, I gotta immediately switch focus immediately onto the wall. So I gotta have my crosshair in the right spot so I can be ready to edit the wall. For example, what I like to do when editing a wall is I start at the top here in the middle tile, go down, left, up. So like this. This is what it'll look like fast. And once you think you're ready, you can try running through it while tactical sprinting just like this. But if you're not this advanced at it yet, that's fine. You'll get there one day, just practice. But honestly, I think the aim section will help your crosshair placement more than anything else. Whenever you're shooting at an opponent, you wanna make sure you're aiming at their head. So when you're doing these practices, you wanna aim for the head every single time. My favorite section in the aim section is probably the bounce arena, where there's bounce pads secretly hidden under the ground here, and the NPCs are flying through the air, and you gotta try to beam them out to low HP or kill them like this. This not only helps with crosshair placement, but also your tracking. Whether it's through the air or straight down, I promise this will help. Sniper slash AR practice. This is pretty hard to do with a sniper, but basically the whole point of this is to snipe the enemy before they hit the ground again. I'm not too great at it, but I'm okay. Next is flying reaction, where the enemies randomly drop in front of you at random angles, and you gotta react to it before they hit the ground. At least that's the whole point. But if you don't do it with a sniper, it won't be that hard. There's even a 1v1 section where you can 1v1 your friends after you warm up. Before I get on to the next part, I just wanted to say that I officially have a Twitch. If you guys want to support me even more, you can go check out my Twitch and follow it. Help me get to 100 followers, please, because at 100 followers on my Twitch, I'm gonna be doing a V-Buck giveaway to all of you guys. The next thing that can help you guys with your crosshair placement in Fortnite a lot is going to be far edits. And if you guys don't know what far edits are, I'll show you right now. So basically what a far edit is, is when you're one tile in between what you're editing. So for example, if there's a wall in front of me right here and it's one tile ahead of me, this is a far edit by doing this right here. I'll show you guys some more examples. I know this video was a lot shorter than my normal videos, but if you guys still did enjoy, all that I ask is that you hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. My Twitch will be in the description below. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And by the way, if you guys want to fight in Fortnite like an absolute god, make sure to watch this video right here.